South Korea's new train system connecting Seoul and its surrounding areas partially opens its line next week. We take a look at how much it costs and why it's considered a groundbreaker for commuters. Our economics correspondent Park go joins me in the studio. Hi, go -Nu. Good evening, Jungmin. Evening. Uh, tell us more about the GTX. Of course. So GTX is an abbreviation of Great Train Express. It's been built so that people who commute in to Seoul from Gyeonggi-do province so that they can do so in about 30 minutes. It's 40 meters underground and in some places even deeper. During the construction process, a special tunnel boring machine was used so that noise and vibrations were kept to a minimum. It's a lot faster than a subway and feels like a proper train. So, all aboard! Commuting to Seoul in just 30 minutes. A new high-speed train, the Great Train Express, or GTX, is preparing to begin operations, allowing people to reach Seoul City from the greater metropolitan area in about 30 minutes. GTX's operation will bring innovation to our everyday lives in terms of transportation. The new train network is one of the pledges made by the UN administration to reduce commuting times in the capital area, with three lines, A, B and C, set to open. The A line is set to begin operating partially from March 30th. People using the GTX will be able to reach Seoul from metropolitan areas much quicker. Train journeys on the GTX A line running from Suseo, southern Seoul, to Dongtan in Gyeonggi-do province will only take about 20 minutes. The same trip by car or on other public transport takes over an hour. The government plans to fully open the A line that crosses Seoul from the south to the north earlier this year, along with the B and C lines in the next several years. An official from Korea National Railway said the government is cooperating with local governments so that rail networks can be extended to other regions outside the Seoul metropolitan area to create an economically hyperconnected area that cuts across various regions. The GTX runs at more than twice the speed of subway trains, reaching speeds of 180 kilometers per hour, meaning that at full capacity, 1,062 people on board can make it to their destinations quicker. This train will run 60 times a day from 5.30 a.m. to 1 a.m., with about a 20-minute interval between each departure. The seats are 3 centimeters wider than on regular subway trains, making for a more comfortable ride and each carriage has an air purifier along with eco-friendly carpet on the floor. According to the Transport Ministry, the fare from Suso to Dongtan will be 4,451, which converts to 3 U.S. dollars and 36 cents at the current rate. However, there have been some concerns about safety at GTX stations due to the greater volume of people that will come with the new service. I am a bit worried because Suseo is already very busy as it is a transfer station with other high-speed trains and subways operating there as well. Korea National Railway said it had already looked into safety concerns and used methods including simulations and is satisfied that there's no need to worry. And Kanu, what are some other safety measures are there? So, according to an official at the Korea National Railroad, they have been doing several uh, simulations and test runs and even inviting people from the public to participate. And several additional emergency exits have been built at stations and screen doors have been installed on platforms at every single GTX station. I see. And what might be some of the economic benefits? Actually, many positive effects are expected. And so before I tell you more, let's first listen to what an official of the Korean National Railroad said. An economic block will be created by connecting regional areas with the Seoul using this fast train. People will be able to work in Seoul during the weekdays and enjoy their lives during the weekends in outlying cities. So, so as the capital region becomes economically hyperconnected, there's expected to be a ripple effect on satellite cities, such as 20,000 more jobs being created. All right, Kano, thanks for your report today. Thanks for having me.